Greetings everyone and welcome back to Clan Folk and to our budding young clan here in the second year, the first of autumn has arrived which means that winter is right around the corner which does necessitate the changing of some priorities for us but you will have noticed at the very beginning there we unlocked two new tech that's because we're on a newer version and uh, we now have straw rugs and straw mats so this might actually be very very nice use of all of the straw that we've built up once we change out all of the straw roofs but as you can probably already guess we have uh, something else that we're focusing on right now though uh, interesting to note these have just straight up unlocked they are available for us to, to build right now because uh, the prerequisites were already unlocked when that was added into the game. Now then, autumn has arrived, as I mentioned, this is the first day of autumn, we've got 10 days before winter and our priority list has changed somewhat. Uh, the primary focus for uh, our clan going into winter is to make sure that we've got enough food right now we do and I'm not too worried about it but autumn is the season for mushrooms so I would like a lot of work put into gathering and drying mushrooms and for that we might even want to look at building a, a proper little room for drying the mushrooms and then for storing them for the long term because they don't need to be frozen like the other foods furthermore we need to have quite a lot of hay prepared for our livestock or hay seeds you can go either way in fact we can feed them the flax seeds and the the grains uh, the oat grain seeds that we've already got um i think they're more or less all the same nutrition the difference between hay or hay seeds is that you can take 25 hay and turn that into 25 straw and 25 seeds, but you will lose about 30%-ish, I think it's 30% of the nutrition of the hay. I think hay is uh, something like f um, 500 nutrition, whereas hay seed is 350, but uh, I'll have to double check on those numbers for you. Uh, so we can make a, a decision based on what our hay stocks are coming in, up towards the beginning of winter whether we want to just convert it into seed in order to get the extra resource of straw out of it or whether we think we should probably just focus on keeping the the, the largest um, bulk of nutrition for our animals available if we think it might be a bit of a, a bit of a shortage towards the end furthermore i would like to expand our clan rooms to accommodate infants honestly i think the rooms as they are are big enough but we could perhaps uh, get another room over here and that would work in towards the other priority that i have for this season and that is building out a proper common room for our clan maybe even making it a proper kitchen uh with access up here into the the food as you can tell i've kind of earmarked this area i think for for that purpose i think there's more than enough room for us to be able to set it up here that would also allow us to have a double wide path around here and maybe even double up this path going to the north i'm still uncertain on that one i don't know if the clan folk uh have the same sort of thing like with dwarf fortress when if two dwarves meet in a one tile corridor one of them has to lie down so the other one can walk across so everything slows down I, i'm not really sure that there's any kind of collision happening in clan folk still having nice uh thoroughfares would would be pleasing on the eye if nothing else now before we um pause it is one other thing i want to touch on uh, about the up Update, and that is one uh, of the uh, small uh, frustrations I had has been addressed. We no longer need to manually create decorative hide. We can, in fact, just set it to one. It no longer considers... Um, hide hung on walls or on beds as part of this number so we can just set that to one and just leave it and there will always be one hide available and they'll make more as necessary and i think that's going to be absolutely wonderful but as i mentioned there is a bit of a shift in priority moving into autumn we can't plant any any uh, fields and that was a big priority through spring and summer so it is probably uh, about time uh, we're due to update our skill group now i've put some thought into this prior to recording and uh, i think i've come up with what will probably be you know uh, barring a couple of tweaks here and there probably be the the system that we we take moving forward i've split up some groups into um, some skills into individual groups and I've got five at the moment we've got housekeeping farming building crafting and harvesting 
Now, based on largely what they they most like doing, I'm going to change th some things up. So give me just a moment to make these adjustments. And there we go. Okay, so based on the jobs that uh, each of our clan folk liked, and uh, I've given harvesting to the workers as a general rule, uh, Elrond and Cat is going to be our housekeeper. They're going to focus on cooking, cleaning, and then repairing around the, uh, the homestead. And because it's autumn, everyone is going to have gathering uh, after their primary duties, and then the final one will be hauling. After that, I basically, just for, for a way to set it up, uh, gave them uh, jobs in the order of what they were good at. So in Elrond and Cat's case, they've got five in harvesting, so that comes next. Uh, Kyra is uh, set up as a farmer, so they've got farming as the top priority, followed by harvesting, and then hunting, and again, gathering and then hauling, because autumn, and then uh, down here, whatever they have in terms of uh, skills, and Amira... Now, Amira was a bit of a tricky one because they like gathering, so I was tempted to make them a harvester. But they're also the best person we have in the colony for building. So I've decided to, to set them up as our builder. I most often see them around building things as well, so uh, it does make sense. So their priorities are repairing, followed by building. This way, we, we should see our repairing, uh, the people who are doing repairing, getting better at it, because it seems to be a skill that takes a long time to level up. So trying to prioritize who's doing it, uh, I hope, will help out. Now, following building, they've got mining and lumbering, and the reason why I've included these is that sometimes I designate an area to be built that includes trees or um, will include part of a mountain, and so it made sense that the builder would also have these as priorities to do, so they would clear the building site in a sense. And again, obviously, Autumn, they've got uh, gathering down there. Finally, Bentham is set up as our craftsperson. So they've got crafting and then tailoring, followed by cleaning, because a craftsperson should always clean up their, their, their work site after a day's crafting. So they've got cleaning as a fairly high priority as well, and again, followed by uh, by gathering. and all. Never leave your, your work site dirty, peeps. I used to work as a, as a laborer for my father, working as a carpenter. And uh, the amount of times that we show up to a building site, and it was just a mess. And so the first hour of or two hours of our day was spent cleaning up after the last people who had been there before we could even start doing our work. No, no, no. Always be considerate of the of the people who are going to be uh, showing up next, especially when it's kind of don't leave your tools out. Oh my lord, makes my soul weep. Uh, Agnes over here is, uh, and uh, all of the other jobbers are set up as harvesters. So. First job for them is hunting, because again, if I've designated something to be hunted, I kind of want that job done as a priority priority. Like, I want them to just go and do that. And then they'll set up eel traps and the likes. Then gathering, since uh, this can probably move around a little bit, depending on the season, but it is, uh, it is uh, autumn right now. So gathering, followed by harvesting. This would probably include things like digging peat, as, uh, from what I understand, and possibly clay, though clay might come under gathering. So these kind of make sense for me. And then finally, we've got lumbering and mining. And in the case of this, it, if I've just sent them out to cut a, a chunk of forest or to clear out some ore from a mountain, it makes sense in there. But with the harvesting job, I have um, cleaning a fairly high priority directly behind hauling because i'm imagining that we're probably going to be giving harvesting to most of our workers uh if their favorite skill hasn't already been up there i just squeeze that in between uh hauling and cleaning but there we are that is probably the uh setup that we're going to be using going forward i should imagine now then with regards to the things that we want to get done today actually we can speed things up a little bit uh, we obviously want to sort out uh, the last little bit that we've got for the inn, and that is to put in some proper toilets. But that's going to require a couple... Oh, I see you there, you scallywag rat. Let's uh, also go ahead and pop in a quick rat trap right about there. That should help out. Now, the other thing I would like to do is move this uh, flute stand. And the reason why... Ooh, uh, that shouldn't be there. There's probably a tile under here so that's why that uh, flooring texture hasn't uh, worked out correctly i am a bit finicky about such things yeah there was uh but we'll move the flute stand down here only so that i can move this up top and the reason for that 
It's fairly simple. I like the idea that if someone's going out into the rain, they can just pick up a cloak just beside the door and likewise disrobe when they come in from the cold into a nice warm inn. I think that makes a lot of sense. But we've got a trader. Let's have a look at what you've got. Uh, you are selling some iron ore. And while I don't really need to, I'm going to go ahead and buy the heather off you as well before I uh, let you leave. Thank you ever so much. There we go. That should be perfect. Now, once we've got... Oh, there we are. The uh, idea points are there. We can get the toilet. Now, that's unlocked the chamber pot and the toilet. Now, the first job for us is to simply put a toilet in. I'll we'll place that one right there. But as you notice, we've also un unlocked chamber pot, and it makes a lot of sense. Is that previously, we just dug a hole, and I, I guess they forgot about what was going it was a very deep hole they never had to clean that out but uh, this toilet can be built anywhere including on hard surfaces so uh that i mean we've got to take uh, the uh, offerings somewhere and you don't want to have to do that with your bare hands so chamber pots are going to be necessary to that end we're going to want to build a storage for empty chamber pots specifically empty ones i do not want any uh full chamber pots stored over here so we're going to set this up uh, to be able to hold chamber pots as soon as that's made. Now, we might have to wait for chamber pots to be available, but the very least we can do is we can disable those ones for the time being. Now, that chamber pot's going to take a little while to be made, but that shouldn't be too bad. Now, as I mentioned, I am interested in getting a bit of an expansion over here and also getting out there and getting some mushrooms from around the place, but that we can leave for a little bit, I think. For now, let's just make sure that we're getting the uh, last bit of oat from around the map. We don't want to leave any of that out there. So, oh, there's plenty up here. Now, we can feed the oats to our animals, the, the oat grain. But I'm not particularly interested in doing that, if I'm perfectly honest with you. I would much rather feed them hay. Uh, if I'm going to feed them a grain, it would probably just be hay seed, though... It depends on how much we end up bringing in before winter entombs us. I'll, I'll make that call at the time, but that is a very, very important reason why I want to have oat grain. That is, I don't think it's going to be too far in the future that we're going to be able to start setting up and making bread and other deliciousness from that. Um, if we're going to be expanding this out, and I would like to have it so that we've got a, um, a two-wide mulch path going through here, we're obviously going to have to move all of that along. So let's uh, add in a much larger mining designation. But in addition to that, we're also going to need to get in here and actually access this area. So let's also set this up. We want it to at least be this large. There we go. That should do. This will allow us to get in there, replace these walls with wood walls. And once that room is ready, I'll then dig in through this wall. I don't want to do that until I've... Uh, until they won't be exposed to the outside once it's done. The other thing that I have been considering, and at, at length, if I'm honest, is this tinkering bench. I'm not really sure that we're using it. Um, I had hoped that it would be a much better um, building than it ended up being, so I think I'm just going to take that down, and instead we're going to move in uh, some room for our workers in here we can just have all three of them lined up there and eventually we're probably going to want more than just three workers at a time but uh, for now it is what it is now let's have a look at this room how is that one oh wow i'm rather impressed this room has an 80 uh quality for the room despite it being a toilet I'm very impressed with that. In fact, oh, I was going to say, it's probably a little bit big, bigger than our bedrooms. It's a lot bigger than the bedrooms. The, the bedrooms are awful. I'm so sorry, my clan. I am I am doing you a disservice by not prioritizing your comfort. Uh, I will get on with that. Uh, while all that's going on, let's have a peek around, see if there aren't some more um, deer. Yes, there are. There we go. Let's take out... Uh, yeah, let's take out this stag there. You can go... Uh, actually, which one is the older... Uh, yeah, we'll take out the older of the stags. Not the calf. There we go. We'll take you out. How many hinds have we got here? We've got two, three. We can, they can afford to lose one, I think. We'll take out this hind as well. But there we are. That's, that's all we're going to take from that, uh, that herd there. Mostly we want the, the actual hide for that. We're not really needing the meat. We've got plenty of meat. Though, that reminds me, at the end of the last episode, I did notice that there were some rats scurrying around in this room. So let's set up two little uh, uh, rat traps there. And given that we... Oh, we've got a lot of meat on these racks. 
still, we're about to undertake a lot of gathering, so I'm going to add in a couple of extra objects as well. It pains me a little bit to have everything squeezed in so tight. We will be expanding out our larder in the coming uh, season. We'll probably wait until winter for that so that we can really, really boost the size of this place. Uh, that being said, now that we've set this up, I think it might be well worth our time to shuffle down the spot for our uh, guests down closer to this location so that they will head to these lavatories rather than the other ones. They tend to, they seem to just go to the, the closest lavatory. So I want the closest lavatory to be the inn. There we go, I'll pop that one in there. Right, okay, not too bad at all. We can speed things up again. It's still getting a little bit of meat here and there. It isn't too bad, I suppose. Uh, though I could move a couple of things down closer, I should imagine. Uh, do we have any more beds to put down? You know what? Actually, I don't care for these sleep mats. Let's get rid of the sleep mats. We are instead going to give them proper beds. Our workers deserve it. I wish there was a way to simply upgrade them, but it doesn't seem to be. Uh, now, I might be uh, doing them a bit of a disservice tonight by uh, doing this uh, all of this work prior to getting the other beds built. Uh, we're just going to have to hope. It is evening on the 1st of autumn, and we've already laid down quite a lot of things to do, and I'm actually really, really happy with uh, what we're getting done at the moment. But with the crows uh, singing uh, a chorus of calls off in the distance, I think we're going to pass the night. Doesn't look like we've got anyone on their way, and they definitely won't be on their way now. Uh, sad to say. Oh, actually, no. We had four people on their way. Oh, my lord. Please get that built. Uh, like, right now, if you could. Please and thank you. Right, make that the next job. <laughs> We've got four travelers who were like, what, what, I was going to stay here. What the dickens? I'm so sorry. There we go, Bentham. I am sorry I have to force you to stay up in order to get this sorted. You've got to dig up the stump as well. Ah, I, I, really, I really dropped the ball on my uh, planning with that one. I am so terribly sorry, travellers. Uh, I will hopefully get this sign up and running before too long. There we go. Amira's bringing her along. And uh, I guess, have we got the beds made as well? I don't think we have, and we're out of twine. Well, I'm not going to have our jobbers sleeping rough whilst uh, the rest of the clan just enjoy their comfy beds. No, I refuse. Well, that certainly wasn't a very nice night for anyone. Eventually, I had to let the family go to bed. It was honestly just a mess trying to get people to stay on the right beds. Let's have a look at how that has affected people. No clan reputation there from Elizabeth. Uh, Henry's going to give us just one. Uh, John had just one, and Samuel just one. I, you know what? I can't even complain. I can't even remotely complain. Also, we don't want full chamber pots in here ever, so they can be uh, hauled out elsewhere. But really, the highest priority for us right now is to make sure that these beds get set up so that our workers actually have somewhere to sleep. Let's make sure that these are properly set up. There we go, Agnes. Uh, on top of that, I really should open up the job board to make sure that we can switch out our current workers. That is something that I hadn't set up yet and uh, is something that we really do want to try and work on since it's a very good source of increasing uh, clan reputation. Uh, just having uh, the jobbers leave in uh, in a uh, happy state. Uh, there we go. And on that note, we've already got two spare jobbers and a trader on their way. Elizabeth is leaving. Yeah, we didn't do a good night there. That was that was probably one of the worst nights for us. Uh, nevertheless, let's have a look at Anne. How much and what have you got for sale? You've got some ash. You've got some fo um, food. We don't need it. But I will take it anyway, just so that uh, you have uh, some positive clan reputation there. Right then, time for us to have a look at our workers. Currently, Agnes is an optimist, but it's costing us 49 a day. Uh, Janet and Sarah. Oh, Sarah's got fast metabolism. It's costing us 51. And Janet is costing us 48. Okay, well, let's have a look at what we've got. We've got Annabelle over here. Costs us 48. They're also healthy. Very low sickness chance, I approve. And Margaret, who only costs 33, both, oh no, they're from different clans. We've got Clan Boyd here and Clan Macintosh, I believe, yes. Uh, you're a pessimist, though. I'm not looking to take on a pessimist. So uh, I'm afraid, Mar afraid, Margaret, you can leave. We will, however, be taking on Annabelle here. 
Uh, all right, well, I will hire you. Who are you going to replace, I wonder? Let's see if there was anyone here from your clan. I do believe so. Uh, where were you? Uh, Annabelle and... Oh, no, Agnes is uh, clan boy. Nevertheless, I think we're going to be saying goodbye to Agnes. You've been here for a fair while. Also, you're kind of in the way of me linking up the family tree. I wish you could move them around. I've not found a way to do that, unfortunately. But if I let Agnes go there, then that will uh, mean that once they're off the map, then all of the family will be together, then all of the jobs and all of the guests. Right, room enough has been dug out, though, for us to set up a new bedroom. So let's crack on with that. We're going to want log walls all the way around the perimeter and down here as well. I will leave a small doorway, just because I don't trust them. Uh, we'll leave the doorway there. Once all of that is done, though, we will then dig a door through here, add in a wall and probably a window somewhere around there. Now we're going to need a vent as well. Now, with that said and done, I think it's time for us to change this up a little bit as well and get uh, some proper toilets over here. And you know what? Sure, let's let's expand out this this surface, this uh, wall, out at least that far. Uh, as far as our ideas, you know what? I'm going to slow things down just a little bit tonight, and we're going to have a look at ideas. There's one more thing that we want, and uh, it's fairly high priority, and that is to get a bath. We're about uh, two thirds of the way there. I have no doubt that we're going to be able to get this set up and running before winter. So. I'm going to take a slight deviation from that one for now, and instead we're going to get the dry stone fence because one thing I am noticing is we've got an awful lot of dry, of uh, just loose stones just filling up inventories. And whilst all of that's going down, I can now start laying out the path around the pasture that I want for the barn. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that for tonight whilst our guests get comfy, and I shall bring you back in the morning. And welcome back. Back. Okay, it is the very early morning, and I am setting up a fairly large pasture area for our animals. Uh, this will also include uh, some gates eventually. We haven't yet unlocked those, but I do want to leave room for that, so uh, let's imagine that we'll have a gate somewhere down the middle of this wall, um, probably at the corner here in the middle as well, just in case we want to go out for something um, specific, and then over there as well that should be more than enough now additionally i have expanded out the wall that we're going to be building over on this side um specifically i want to expand our barn out just one extra tile you'll notice this overhang here as well my plan is to bring down our composting operation as i feel that that would be better placed close to where the majority of the compost is being generated and that's going to be where the animals are also where our, our uh, nice toilets are as well though i suppose eventually we're going to have them over there but that's quite a few building tasks and i don't want to give them too many there's an awful lot of building tasks thankfully we have the materials for most of them to hand uh, a lot of the building tasks are running the walls so i'm not too worried about that and the mulch paths right let's have a quick look at the visitors though starting with the traders we have got some eggs sure i'll take that we've also got a rooster uh i don't really feel compelled to get a rooster though so uh, we'll we'll have a look at what else we've got we've got some hay seed i will happily take that i'll also take the hay don't mind picking that up at all. Um, the flax sheaf too. But I do need to make a little bit of money because we're slowly hemorrhaging it. Um, let's take our money up over 2,000 and we'll let it sit there and we'll always trade to try and bring that in line. In fact, I'm going to sell a decent amount of planks here. Uh, that's going to give us 77 with Clan Boyd. I'm actually quite happy with that. And that takes us well over the amount that we're going to need to, to keep. Uh, you can head on now though. I don't need you to... Uh, hang around we're not going to just take a single rooster if it was a, a hen then maybe adam over here uh okay uh from clan anderson 47 a day versus janet or sarah um but sarah does have a, a nice perk so i think we're going to say goodbye to janet at this point also from clan anderson so uh that's not too bad we can have you leave there Adam, let's take you on. Thank you very much for joining us, and I will quickly get Adam's skills set up. Also, their bed set. 
Right, much of the work has already been done on the barn now, so I feel confident in just going through and deleting those walls. I should pick the walls first. There we go. And on that note, we've also done a, a fair bit of work over here on the, uh, the expanded bedroom. Uh, do I trust them not to build themselves into a room? Not even remotely, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. And then I will give a mine command. I think the doors being around here on each of these rooms would be quite nice. So I'm just going to give them a uh, task to get that set up. Now let's find out where Amira is and what Amira is currently working on. Ah, Amira's working on... Oh, they've pulled up all of the dirt... Uh, the dirt roads. I just don't particularly like them uh, building walls on top of that. So uh, let's fill this back in with dry stone. There we go. And I think we were going to say... Actually, I was going to have the uh, gates somewhere around there as well. Now, since that's going to be drawing in a lot of Amira's attention, I'm just going to pump up the priority over here on some of these jobs just a little bit just enough to get Amira to focus on those over her other tasks with the dry stone walls same over here let's get those done especially considering that this is going to be a bit of a, an issue if yeah if that gets dug open before this wall in particular is finished so I'm even going to put that all the way up to a nine uh, we still don't have any extra chamber pots down here which is an odd one I'm going to rise that one up to a level eight just to make sure that it tries to pull them down we've just unlocked the supply shelf interestingly enough now the supply shelf um storage for workshop supplies Okay, well, I'm happy to pop one down just to see how well it can actually hold said workshop supply. So let's uh, pop one over there, I guess. That will overwrite that entire storage area, though. And on the note of overwriting storage areas, I'm definitely feeling like we need to store more branches. So let's uh, get something like that set up. We still haven't done the roofs over here, and I want those done before anything else, because this is still technically outside. In fact... Ah, Amira's already asleep. Amira, I'm sorry to wake you up, but I really quite desperately want these done. So if you could work on that, what on earth are you doing right now? Uh, oh, is that a building job? It's a repair skill job. Huh. All right, well, that's not terrible, I suppose. I wanted this done as a priority because currently they were in the cold. Now you've done that, you can go back to sleep. Sorry about that, Amira. There you go. That will, of course, them a bit of disturbed sleep, but uh, that's just the way it's going to be. But this is now technically uh, an open space for us to use. Uh, to that end, let's go ahead and get some of the uh, workshops moved over there, shall we? And out of the way. We'll pop that one there, and we'll have the ingot bin in beside. Now, that one shouldn't be a risk. You know what? Let's, uh, let's dial that back and instead have everything that can possibly catch on fire far away from that wooden wall there. That would be an awful way for things to go. But okay, this room is now technically uh, a viable um, cooking common room area. So with that in mind, I think I'm actually going to break this down. Let's get that completely broken down and I would like to mine through that tile. Now that is going to take away a bit of heat for this area, which isn't great, uh, especially because we don't yet have a, a, the um, the peat fueled oven yet. Still, I think it will be worth it for us to, to move these things around a little bit. Let's uh, dismantle that wall as well. I wish there was a, a tile for just breaking things down so I didn't have to go into walls in particular in order to break down a wall. All right, with that done, I would very, very much like an additional fireplace then. We're going to pop that one there. I'm going to add in a flammable blocker right here. This one will not be for cooking. This one will be for heating. Ah, I may have done a dumb. Oh, actually, no, we're still saying goodbye to Sarah. So, Alexander, you're jolly. Finds fun everywhere. Very well. Uh, Alexander, you are hired. And the final worker from our work crew is going to be... We're going to be saying goodbye to Sa uh, Sarah from Clan Anderson. Thank you ever so much for your entire season of hard work. It is massively appreciated. Uh, we've got a fair bit of space over here, but uh, I've got a couple of ideas for this area. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to move around the, uh, the storage for the butchering table and the hide rack. I'm going to move one of the cat beds just down here. There we go. I'll just pop that one in there. 
Uh, we want to move the cat food and uh, the water bowl as well. Uh, now, finding a good spot for this is going to be a little bit more of a task. I think having these over here, and you'll, you'll see why in just a moment. Don't worry, I haven't gone mad. Well, I mean, actually, I can't say that with a straight face, but uh, I'm, I'm no more mad than usual. All right, we're up to two idea points down here, and you know what that means. I have been holding off on doing it for long enough. It's time for us to get a bathtub. But also, we've got a traveler here, just in time. What? From Clan Forbes. Welcome, welcome. You go ahead and make yourself comfy. Now, with the bathtub, we are going to be able to... Uh, it's amazing for cleanliness, but the main thing is that it can be used all the way through winter without any problem at all. Uh, I'm starting to get a little bit concerned about these just being in the way, so I may well move these up here. Now that we've got a nice space in that uh, area, let's move that one as well. Uh, the clothing bin can go right next to the door that shouldn't be a problem and once all of that's done we're going to build ourselves a bath right over here uh right we've managed to get that wall done but uh, this wall we haven't yet had access to i might just dig into this tile since i'm going to need to replace it anyway uh, let's have a look at this room it is going to be awful because of the amount of random gubbins on the floor uh, that's just the way that that one's going to roll for now, I'm afraid. Uh, how are things down here? We've got plenty of chamber pots. You know what? I'm going to close off these two just so that we only keep four. So that's two complete refills. And you will note that I'm already, uh, I've already got another one set up to be built over here as well. Once we've got all of the flooring in, that's when I'm going to replace uh, these two toilets uh, over there, but uh, whilst we're here, we may as well go for the wall hanging decorations and pop one on each wall. That will actually make these rooms absolutely gorgeous to, to be in. We've got some traders with fish. I will happily take that. Ooh. Mm. No, I would want a breeding pair. It's tempting though. Um, but you're already one-third, coming up to halfway through your adult life, so I'm not really sure that that would be the right time. But, I mean, that is a lot of meat. Uh, for the sake of, of just grass, I would happily take pigs in the beginning uh, of the year, around spring, but not right now. Uh, thank you ever so much. You can be on your way. And we have got straw, which I really don't think we need. Oh, you got bread. I will happily take that. We'll also take the flax seeds as well. Um, well, given that I am using a fair bit of straw right now, I suppose I should take it. Uh, we'll go ahead and sell off then just to bring our money back up over 2,000. There we go. That'll give us 79 clan reputation. Thank you ever so much. You can head on out. But I'm generally very happy with the amount of work that our clan are getting done. I feel that the changes that we did to the uh, skill list has really, really helped out. I'm going to see if you can actually build that uh, roof there or this tile. Though, honestly, I feel that you should be working on it if you could. Uh, let's have a glance down here. We'll happily take the ore. Not even going to have to ask about that one. And then uh, you can be off again, Sarah. Thank you very much for dropping by. On that note, might be worth us starting to look into getting mushrooms. Have we still got any regular mushrooms? We don't. So it is now time for us to start gathering them. The reason why I wasn't gathering them before is because we, we hadn't uh, worked through the mushrooms that we had, and so it seemed a little bit silly. Uh, we'll start over here because that's all going to be fairly easy for us to get to. And I would like to clear trees from up and around this area. So again, from over here, this will help us clear out uh, potential farmland for the uh, the coming year as well. So that seems reasonable. Bess here from Clan Point has brought us some more fish and some meat if we really wanted it. Uh, I, I guess I'll take it. That's uh, some hunting that we don't need to do. And since our money is pretty good, I will let them head straight out. The less planks I have to use up in order to get money, the, the less time is spent on the timbery instead of building. As you can see, Amira is making very short work now of getting all of this set up for us, which I'm very, very happy to see. Uh, is there enough time now for us to start gathering mushrooms? Let's have a look. Are these set up properly? They have not been. That is a shame. Every time I move them, they lose their dead designation but there we are they should be able to get through all of the uh, fresh mushrooms now uh, still we want to get out there and gather more all the time so uh, let's set out another gathering job for our workers primarily i should imagine we also are going to need a lot more trees as well so let's uh, drop a couple of tree clearing tasks but i will use the trees nearest to our base for these tasks since it's going to 
drastically speed up getting all of that done. Uh, that all being said, how are we doing for storage now? Well, a lot of the Oak Chief is still being stored outside. Uh, at this point, I'm going to say we can store all of the uh, the hay in the various haystacks. And we're actually going to need a few more besides that. So let's get these built up. Let's have another one. Well, you know what? We can just pop them down there, honestly. Just to get things stored and not out in the rain. That will be especially useful for... Uh, for dealing with straw, which I think does decay. Though that being said, there may still be some over here. No, there isn't anymore. They've they brought her all in, and that's actually a good sign of how good the uh, the workers are doing. Because despite being so focused on hauling, we are not seeing too much um, delay on getting uh, things cleaned. We are seeing a little bit here and there, but for the most part, yeah, there we go, Elrond and Cats taking care of her all. Thank you very much indeed. Now, we've got a nice room over here. I want this cat bed to be moved. We'll have the cat bed right there, and we'll have the clothing basket down here. Now, if we have a look at the pets for Bentham, uh, Orestes and Ugrak, and Kyra has Persephone and Malachi, we've definitely got room for some of our pets to sleep in here so i think uh, let's go ahead and find a cat bed and move that down here i'm not sure if the cats will try to sleep nearby their owners or not i, I will have to just uh, puzzle that out by with observation but that should be a nice start at the very least another thing we can do is use up some more of the uh, stone floor uh, the stone for flooring like so there we go. We're still waiting on a little bit in here, but I think perhaps the reason why they haven't pulled this up is that the poop hole is in the way. So uh, we're going to have to move that. Also, I definitely need to tell you not to worry too much about uh, storing things in there. Let's try and make sure that that's a priority 8 so it'll pull from here. These are all set up as priority 7s, but we want them down here wherever possible. Yeah, we've got Neil over here from Clan Macintosh who's brought plenty of berries and mushrooms and wood and... I'm going to take the dry peat bricks as well, simply because we're probably going to want those fairly soon. Uh, of course, the next thing, and, and pretty much the, the primary thing that I'm waiting on right now, is the tiled peat stove. That's the, the last thing that we desperately need to uh, make sure that we're good for winter. Uh, we'll also buy some extra heather. There we go. You can grab all of that, and you can be on your way, Bernard. Thank you very much. Now, with uh, these rooms starting to come together now, I would very, very much like to add in a bath. There we go. We'll put the bathtub right next to the fireplace. That makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, we'll also move this clothing basket down a little bit. Uh, do we have room for... Well, we've got the flute over there, so I'm a little bit uh, hesitant to get that uh, to place any uh, anything in the way of this, any storage areas. On that note, though, I did want to expand this whole area out a little bit, so perhaps I should work on that now rather than later by moving all of this down. We'll have a door there and get some windows to the sides. Uh, if I have a fireplace just set in that wall or perhaps in this wall, that would work. So we can have a window there and a window there. That would be lovely. I think that would be perfect. This whole fireplace is going to have to move, though, I think. Um, if I set it up over here, it's not going to have a good spot for the uh, for the bathtub, unfortunately. But that's just the way it's going to have to be, I'm afraid. Uh, now, looking at this, I haven't really left myself enough room to do as I usually like to do and have a, a proper little entryway. Um, for the sake of having a doormat outside. And that will vex me if I don't. Uh, let's have a think of how I can move this around. Perhaps I could have some storages on either side here. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to do. Uh, sure, okay, we'll build up the walls on the inside. Uh, does, it is going to move things around a little bit more than I would like, but I think I can make it work. Give me a few seconds. 
Okay, not the best positioning, certainly, but also not the worst. We've got the bath down here. It's even going to be right next to the fireplace, so when someone is taking a bath, they should get a little buff for being uh, proximate to the fireplace. A uh, warm fireside bath. I can't think of many things that would be more comfortable than that. Uh, we're also going to build another water dipper down here, get some water storage in, and move the flute rack down. So that should all work out quite well for us. Right, we've got Angus from Clan Macintosh. Come along inside. We've got uh, Norman from Clan Forbes. And finally, we've got Isabel from Clan Bob. Void. Get on inside you lot. Now we're halfway to the idea point uh, limit that we need to be able to start making the tiled peat stove. Once we get that, we actually don't want this. Um, this is here out of necessity to keep both of these rooms warm. But once uh, once we actually get the tiled peat stove, I'm probably going to put the tiled peat stove down here in this little corner. Um, we'll have this one up there. I might even pull that down a little bit. We'll see, though I could equally um, pull away this wall and just move everything up a little bit. That is not the worst idea, frankly. Oh, well, we've got traders from pretty uh, from three of the different clans right now. From Clan Macintosh, we've got some spare mushrooms, some spare logs. Always going to take that. I'll take the peat bricks so that we don't have to dig it up ourselves. Happy with that one. We've also got from Clan Forbes uh, another rooster. They really want us to take those roosters, but I'm very much against it. Uh, I will sell a little bit, though, to just bring us up over, let's say, 2,200. There we go. And finally, from Clan Boyd, we've got oat grain, we've got flour, we've got flax sheaves. I will take pretty much all of this because we are heading into winter. So that means a sale of a little bit more planks just to get us up over the required amount. Now, that has unlocked a few things for us, apparently. We have unlocked oat flour the flower palette and we've unlocked bread that we can't make but that's fine we've sequence broke just a tiny little bit at least one bedroom is now being fully cleaned up and i'm about to make a massive mess in there by moving this uh, clothes basket i am so sorry i know you you get the room clean and then i just swoop in uh, I am a villain. All right, it is coming up to evening on the 8th of autumn, and there are a couple of important things to point out. One, we've got the common room more or less set up at this point, and I'm very, very happy with that. I do need to take away a little bit more of the roof from around this area, but that should be fine for the time being. Uh, there was a little bit of a panic very briefly as they pulled apart this wall, and I, I used to RimWorld, was imagining the entire temperature in here just plummet, but it takes a little bit longer for the ice to melt. So we just quickly got the walls rebuilt and everything was good. Now, as far as... Oh, are you building? Oh, that's marvellous because we do need a couple more over the toilets over here. Just to give you an idea of what the difference is. Uh, this room right now, it's a tiny room. It's got a room uh, environment of 5 and a room of 30. This one, room minus 20 and an environment of minus 45, which I can only imagine is that the uh, toilet isn't ready. Or maybe it is. I'm not really sure why there's such a big difference there then. Uh, nevertheless, things are going well. Our animals are starting to eat the hay that we've got uh, set up uh, around the place. I'd also like that stag hunted if at all possible, just for the extra hide, because I would very much like these rooms all uh, made a little bit more pretty. Now, we've got a couple of visitors. We've got Murdoch from Clan Boyd. Welcome, welcome. We have also got Anna from Clan Forbes. You are, of course, welcome. Only two today, and our money is starting to decrease. Now, we haven't yet finished the passion. That was really something of a priority for me. I really, really did want that, the, at least the walls to be in place. Uh, I'm going to go ahead at this stage then and give these walls a bit of a bump up in priority. We'll at least put them up on to a priority six. So uh, Amira should get to those uh, a little bit before everything else. Next up, we have got four idea points. And this is something we've been waiting for for so terribly long. We can finally get the dry, uh, sorry, the tiled peat stove. Now, this is going to unlock a couple of cooking recipes for us that I would actually like to uh, get up and running as well. But the main thing it's going to do is going to remove the need for us to have a stone fireplace. Now, we're not going to do that just yet. I'm going to pull this down. We'll get the tile peat stove set up in here, and then I will probably move the water dipper over here. And that way people can just uh, hop in the bath. There we go. Look at that. Murdoch probably having a whale of a time in there. Can I actually select Murdoch? A uh, huge room, low light. Ah, the fireplace wasn't lit, so you didn't get the fireside buff. That's a bit of a shame. Maybe I'll move the bath up there instead. 
uh, just to try and help with that. Either way, uh, we'll get a Talpeat stove in here. That's uh, a big upgrade for us. And also, I would like to get a Talpeat stove down here for our animals. At the coldest nights, I'm fairly certain that we will not be able to maintain the temperature that we want in the barn. That is incredibly important to me. So having a dedicated peat stove for keeping the barn warm, it, I think, is uh, a very, very wise uh, use of our skill points. Now, the other thing I would like to get is the... Uh, branch gate. That's only going to cost one idea point, so we should be able to get that without too much trouble. Now let's have a look in here. We've still got plenty of raw mushrooms yet, and there is almost certainly plenty of them for us to go and collect as well. So I'm going to set up probably one of the last gathering tasks for this season for just to just get out there and grab as many of these mushrooms as we possibly can. There we go. We're just going to bring everything in that we can. It takes them no time at all to gather mushrooms, so I'm just going to leave that as it is and hope for the best. The last place for us to cut grass is around here, but uh, we've still got quite a few um, tasks for them to cut hay out and about. So I'm a little bit concerned that that isn't getting done. That being said, there is massive amounts of hay stored over here. Uh, so maybe I'm worrying over nothing. I probably am. We, we've spent a lot of effort at getting all of this ready so that we wouldn't have to worry too much about it. So, And uh, I guess this is just uh, the benefit of that. Amira, did you have uh, Fireside? Yeah, we go Fireside Warmth and Mood. Massive bonuses to that. Hopefully we can get that more for our guests as that would be a huge bonus for their uh, their mood staying in the, in the clan. Now, uh, Annabelle is due to go to sleep over there, so I imagine you're going to go there, or are you going to take one of these beds, Annabelle? No, no, you are just, you're just getting work done. Fair enough, I deeply approve. But the rooms are nice and, oh, okay, so, uh, <laughs> looks like my wife's biggest fan has brought Amira, a, uh, a rabbit, uh, not quite the rabbit that I imagine Amira was uh, expecting when she said she wanted a pet, but uh, uh, honestly, maybe this is more of a warning than anything else. My wife's biggest fan is sending a very bold and clear message. And no, she does not need another pet. She has my wife's biggest fan, and that is all the pet that she needs. Uh, nevertheless, we've got a fair old bit of work yet to do on uh, the last day that we have to do it. So hopefully we can get a bit of this sorted out. The main thing we want is, of course, to get the tiled peat stoves up and running. I'm actually going to bump the priority up on that to an 8. We want to make sure that our animals are taken care of. That is a huge, huge uh, priority for us. At this state, I'm thinking that we could probably allow the flax seeds to just be brought over. We've got a decent amount of flax seeds. And I'm okay with them eating through that. So... I'm going to disallow everything else, and I'm going to turn on the ability for them to bring in the flax seeds. Our animals will go out and graze a little bit for the time being, but uh, for now, let's just get the, the flax in here. I'm also going to allow the hay trough as well, so they can start working their way through the flax seeds and the hay as uh, as it's available to them. All right, let's get a bunch of clay gathered as well, because we're going to need a fair old bit of it. And we may well be saying goodbye to our workers come the new season. Uh, on that note, do let me know down in the comments whether you think that's necessary. Right now, things seem to be going okay for us. And so I'm, uh, I'm of two minds whether we actually do need to say goodbye to our workers or not. Right, I do not want anything made here. I only want this being used for heating. But you will have noticed that we just unlocked clay bowls. The clay bowls are uh, what we're pretty much building up the uh, oat grain for. Uh, let's get a stack of clay bowls made. Uh, in fact, I'm going to drop the uh, pots there, and then we'll build up another five on the other side of it, just so that we can get the clay balls. And hopefully we can go into the next uh, next year with some new food for our peeps. Now, if they can get that one made, I will tear that building down. We'll set up the water dipper across from it, and that should be lovely. In fact, I'm fairly certain that Amira is going to be able to do this. So we're just going to pull that one down preemptively at this point. All right, let's have a look. We are bringing in plenty more clay. Honestly, we could do with having even more, but that will be a lot easier. Oh, once we've got the ability to uh, gather up, um, uh, to have iron tools for that. Uh, I think I don't want to see the mushrooms rot, just for the, the simple want of... Uh, having a place to, to put that. So I am going to set up a temporary storage out here. Uh, let's throw together 
Let's see, a serving basket. It's... it's uh, I don't really want it there, but... Uh, alternatively, I could put a serving basket in there as well. Uh, that might not be too bad. And I'll set this only for... Uh, dry mushrooms, I'm thinking. If we set it for dry for dried mushrooms, then it'll clear up a lot of space in here for us to store regular mushrooms, and I think that would make uh, a lot more sense. So dry mushrooms aren't going to turn bad. Right, we've unlocked the bowl stand because we have the bowls, and in addition to that, we have unlocked bros. Bros is oat greens in hot water. It gives us 3,000 food. Uh, use 25 oat grains for it, though, which uh, is a fair old bit. So if we have a look at oat grains themselves, then I do believe we'll be able to get an idea of how much uh, food they offer. They offer 350. Um, so one bros out of uh, 25 oat grains, but a little bit of water. We can't eat oat grains. I'm fairly. You can feed them to animals, but uh, I don't believe your clan folk will just eat oat grains. But uh, this will give us a nice bit of food as well, which will in turn be able to be given to our guests, which I would be very, very happy with. Uh, let's go ahead and find the dish stand. Where was that bowl stand, rather? Uh, we obviously don't want the bowl stand just down there, so we can just have the, the bowl stand up here for now, I suppose. And uh, then we will set this up to just make five a day, I would say. Something like that, or, or at least I can uh, maintain five, let's say. There we go. So they'll always try and make more if we have less than five. Now, I'm go we're going to be able to limit how much they make by just not having that many bowls for them to make it. Uh, travel has arrived. We've got uh, Kirsten uh, from Clan Macintosh. You can come along in. There we go. And we're already seeing the Talpit stove keeping this place nice and warm. That will also help in here, since uh, this room there is going to get heat from both directions, which uh, I'm sure they'll be very, very happy with. Uh, as for the hay, we've got loads of oat sheaf out there, so we'll be easily able to uh, replace the amount of uh, food that we're going to be making. It looks like they're already working on it right there. That's absolutely marvellous. Right, it's the last day. It is day 10 of autumn. The sun is coming up. Amir is getting some work done over here, uh, gathering some peat from the peat bog. Uh, Adam's having a bit of a chat there. I hope that you had a nice chat, Adam. Let's have a look. Kristen, uh, page 34, clan repetition of 28. And we've got Simone coming in with uh, a little bit of trade goods it would be nice to run a path up all the way to the edge on uh, on each side just so that traders and anyone coming in has a bit of an easier time of it we'll take the peat bricks we will also take the hide i will happily buy the berries and i will sell you nothing thank you very much for coming down here that will all work out quite well for us there we go now with regards to the peat stove you could happily set one up in here but you do need a lot of peat and right now we have enormous amounts of branches they are a very easy resource for me to acquire so i'm a little bit reticent to switch over the primary um, fuel source that we're using without making sure that we can manage it but that is definitely an option in the future for us to switch over to that uh, how are we doing with the hides? Are they being brought in? They should be. I would like them to be brought in a little bit faster. Let's move that up to a priority eight, just so that one of the uh, haulers, when they're looking for uh, something to haul, will consider that a nice high priority job to do. There we go. Thank you very much indeed. There we are. Out of the rain. That's where they need to be. Right, how are we doing for raw mushrooms? We've still got quite a few out there, but I don't think we've got... Oh, we've got a little bit down here as well. They're slowly um, rotting, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and pop down another serving basket in here. The problem with having the serving baskets in here is that uh, our, uh, the, the, these aren't as well protected from rats as the other areas. Still, let's make sure that whatever food that we have gathered, we're not just throwing away. We've got 45 days of food with this many people. There is almost no reason to say goodbye to our workers then come winter time. I am shocked with the amount of food that we've managed to accrue. I kind of took my eyes off it for a little bit, but uh, my lord. At this point, I'm thinking we could even afford to go all the way up to four workers if we wanted to. Now, having four workers in winter... That's not so much of a, of, of a useful thing as it is a flex, I think. Having four 
job is helping you out in the month where you most want to try and just maximize your storage of food and you have the least amount of work to do that is definitely a flex and i'm gonna leave it up to you in the comments on whether we actually do that i will build the other bed simply because uh if nothing else i can then repurpose that as a uh, bed for for the children once they're born but uh having four spare workers that would that would definitely be an interesting push uh, as far as all of the mushrooms go, we've actually got a lot of things stored up in here. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's have a look outside. We've still got hay, and if we get out there quickly, we'll be able to gather it. But if we leave it much longer, I don't think we're going to be able to, to harvest that hay at all. There's a bunch of hay over here as well. So right now, the animals can graze still if they really want to. It is minus 2.8 degrees outside, but it is a comfy 18 degrees balmy, some might say, in the barn. It is, it's going to only be as high as 18. Once you hit winter, the highest temperature any room can have is 18, and that's so that's what you're aiming for. Uh, same across all of these. Obviously, our uh, larder is going to get colder and colder and colder. Uh, ooh, the temperature over there. Ah, I have noticed a problem. We're going to need to uh, replace these with straw curtains. Remind me about that in the next episode. But in terms of jobs, I'm actually really, really happy with what we managed to do. We've got proper bedrooms. We've got a proper common room on the go. We've got a ridiculous amounts of food available to us. Our inn has proper toilets at this point. The barn is well set up. We are bringing all of the, the uh, gong and gong-related paraphernalia down to the barn, where it's most likely going to be, uh, be demanded. we even putting up a perimeter wall and a path around the main pasture so next next spring that we're going to be able to seed all of this hopefully with grass including around here if i have to place down um, t um tilled soil to get that to work then that's something that we can do we managed to get a decent amount of food stockpiled as outside of the the main stuff that you see over here the fact that we've got loads of oat grain and oat grain can make uh bros and on top of that i do believe we've still got loads of oat sheaths as well so i'm fairly confident that we have significantly more food available to us than this uh, days of food is reporting all things said and done i'm really happy with the new skill um priority setup that we came that we put together i think that has helped out a lot with keeping things going for us and i'm really really confident about this winter i i suspect we're going to end winter in a stronger place than when we entered it which is in and of itself quite a boast but uh do let me know what you think about the worker situation whether we want to flex our clan's wealth by having four uh extra workers helping out or if you think that perhaps we should uh ease our foot off the gas a little bit and just focus on surviving because uh, those scottish winters they can't be taken for granted but that is going to be it from me and from the clan for today i really do hope you've enjoyed this episode and will be joining me for the next as always i look forward to your comments and feedback down below but until next time do take care everyone <laughs>